Hey guys, I got a little something different I want to show you um, today. Um, get away from the cards for for a time being. But I, mean, I was actually on uh, watching the movie Reservoir Dogs, and it's a really cool movie. I highly recommend you guys going out to see it. Um, it's one of Quentin Tarantino's early movies before Pulp Fiction. Um, but it's 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 I don't want to know if it's as good as Pulp Fiction, but it's right up there. It's a, it's a great movie. It's got Harvey Keitel, Steve Buscemi, Michael Madsen. Quentin Tarantino makes a cameo in it as well, which he does in most of his movies. But it's a really cool movie about gangsters who go to rob a jewelry store and everything goes awry. Um, it's an unbelievable movie. And there's an actual scene in the movie where um, the characters played by Harvey Keitel and Steve Buscemi are kind of in the bathroom talking about what happened. And they go to light their cigarettes. And instead of, um, you know, just thumb starting their lighters, they're actually snapping their lighters lit like that it's a pretty cool effect um, you know it's it was a little a, a neat little touch they put in the movie you know obviously if you're if you're a gangster in LA you're not just gonna whip out your 99 cent bic and start it I mean you gotta have a little bit of a flourish so um, I think that's why they put it in the movie and again it was a, it was a cool little touch and even in the movie um, you know if you watch it you know they don't just you know, even the actors, they don't just start it on the first attempt. They snap five five to ten times before it actually lights because it's, it's, it is a little difficult at, at first. So I'm assuming they had to practice it several times even before they shot the scene. Um, and even in the movie, um, the second time um, Harvey Keitel's character goes to light, he actually snaps, you know, five, six times and it doesn't light and he just ends up, you know, just lighting it the regular way. So... It is difficult at first, and even, you know, I haven't been doing this a, a, a ton, and it's hard for me to even get it, um, especially with a brand, you know, this isn't a brand new Zippo, but it's new enough, it's not worn in very well, and it, it is hard to get it on the first, you know, shot. So you might have to snap three, four times even before, but even then, if you do it fast, it's a cool effect, um, you know, if you're just standing around, so um, how you do it, I mean, it's it's easy, it's it's self-explanatory. Um, but again, so basically what you're doing is, you know, you've got your, your wheel here and it's moving in a downward direction to light. So, um, you know, as the snapping action is going to move your middle finger in a downward direction. So if you get it, you got to get it close enough where the snapping action is just going to pop the wheel down and light the lighter. Um, and again, doing this at first, you want to start kind of out. Just so you can, you know, you can work your way closer so you hit the wheel. I mean, once you get the timing and the distance down, you can go right in. But um, uh, my first word of caution on this is, you know, you got to be really careful. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the top of this thing. Is It's very sharp around the edges. Um, so if you guys get too close and you keep missing over... You could end up cutting your finger open um, and bleeding everywhere, and I definitely don't want that. So be very, very careful. I've actually seen comments on other tutorials where people are complaining about how they were doing this, and they kept cutting their finger open because this is very sharp. So again, I'd recommend starting out, you know, getting a little distance and just getting the snapping action down, and then working your way in to actually rubbing the wheel like that. So. That's my first word of warning. My other word of warning on this, again, it, it is, it, it's a real fire. Um, don't burn yourselves. Be very, very careful. Um, you know, it's, I don't want anyone to get hurt. That's not the reason for the video, obviously, but I, it, you know, it was a cool trick from a movie and I wanted to come on here and show you guys. So again, um, don't try this at home. Yeah, right. Actually, the reason I'm doing the tutorial is so you can try it at home, but, um, you know, don't sue me if you guys break your finger open. So, uh, you know, again, and there's a lot of ways to, to, you know, pop the top, you know, since we're in the snapping mode, if you just want to, you know, the same thing, if you just want to snap your finger and pop the top open, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, you can fling it open like that. There's lots of ways to do that. Um, but again, if you just snap your fingers, flip it over, and then snap it lit, you know, it's pretty cool. It's, again, it's a cool scene from a movie. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, again, it's... 
it's not really in my comfort zone. You know, Zippo tricks aren't my thing, but um, it's a cool movie. Um, you know, it, and it's a really cool way to, to light your Zippo. So I figured I'd come on here and, and show you guys uh, how to do it. Um, again, it's as easy as a snap. So if you like the video, comment, subscribe. You know, again, Zippo tricks aren't my thing. I've got more card stuff uh, coming. So keep subscribing and keep the good feedback coming. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you out there.